got some gameplay today, man. The main focus of today's gameplay is going to be this man right here, Brian Burns. Now, Brian Burns, um, he you're, you're going to see this man make a lot of plays. I know since he's a 94, it's because in my lineup, like I have him like out of position now, so I linebacker, but he basically plays DM for me. Uh, the abilities I got on him are no outsiders and reach league. It's both these abilities with zero AP. Reach Lee honestly does absolutely nothing, but the no outsiders is a very good ability for zero AP. It's really good. Uh, in this game, we're going to see this man go crazy, and I'm actually going to walk you guys through the gameplay to him, uh, talk over it a little bit. But yeah, this Brian, this Brian Burns card is legit. He gets all team cams. I would I would definitely highly recommend him. And what you're going to see him doing his gameplay, if it doesn't sell you, then I don't know what will. I'm going to commentate over the gameplay why it runs, just to kind of talk you guys through it a little bit, because I feel like sometimes... It gets a little hectic, like with the actual stream audio, because you never really know what's gonna go on. But it's two games that you guys are gonna get. This is the first game right here, and it, look, as you can see, this is how we open up games. We give up long kick returns. You know, it's funny. I literally, like a couple days ago, I actually invested in my special teams. I went and got some backups. Spent about a hundred some thousand on some backups, and we still give up long kickoffs. But you see, Javon Curse making that big play. I got the no outsiders on him. I don't even think it lit up there. The guy just kind of made the play. But you guys are really going to get a taste to see this 3-4 defense. I run, run this 3-4 under for about almost like two months now. And, you know, stuff like this in Madden, we really haven't been able to run because, uh, you know, Lurk Artists. Lurk Artists is a thing now. Linebackers are actually usable, not usable. They're very good. Like, they're good again. You know what I mean? So we can run defenses like 3-4. I haven't ran the three, four defenses, Madden 20. So, you know, being a ooh, risky pass right there. And if you wonder why Kevin Byers not lit up, it's, oh my God, Vernon Davis running through the whole defense. Uh, it takes a couple of plays for him to get lit up. As you can see, he's lit up now. But once he gets lit up, he does not get turned off. I know the description says something about if he gives up a catch, uh, he, he he loses X Factor. No, that's not how it works. That He can give up a catch. The X Factor stays on. But, you know, we're in the red zone right now. Defense has got to make a stop. We're setting the crib. Boom. Look who it is. Brian Burns. You're going to see this man a whole, whole lot, man. I got him rushing off the right edge. I got Javon Curse off the left. Uh, a couple dogs up in the middle. Ooh, and I'll tell you, man, this 3-4 screams. Like, that. that's what I got to tell you. This 3-4 screams. You're going to see in these two games, all this thing is going to do is we're going to get to the quarterback. I'm telling you, man, now, you know, you know, sometimes with the 3-4 guys, might look, look at this. Fourth to go at the one. Look at TJ Edwards, man. Look at TJ in the box, man. I know some of you guys, oh, should I get Devin White over TJ? No, I like TJ better. Two reasons why is because, one, uh, look at that. The buddy crashed out, sent the whole, he ran commit, sent the whole crib at me. That was crazy. But the reason why I like TJ Edwards over Devin White, one, the abilities are better. Yeah, they both get Dirk Artists for zero, but uh tj also gets another ability for zero ap he gets enforcer and i know it's not so spectacular or crazy but it's better than nothing i Devin white doesn't get anything else if i'm not mistaken i could be wrong but another thing is too i actually like um tj with some of his stats a little bit better i know the only thing i really think Devin white has over tj is he's one speed faster than him that's about it and you know tj is like 97 speed that's fine and for me tj guys like he's got like 97 zone I, personally, I like his card better. You know what I mean? That, that's all I really got to say. But at the end of the day, you, you you could use who you want. I know some of you guys might want to get Devin White to replace uh, Harold Carmichael. Not me. There's no chance in this world that I'm replacing Harold Carmichael. Six foot eight. Yeah, he's only 95 speed. But six foot eight, man, you can't get that anywhere else, man. That, that's, that's really all I got to say. But uh, we got that stop on defense. We're cruising right now on offense. We're kind of walking downfield. Jordan Reed called a couple corner routes, the RPO game. You guys know how my offense is, man. It's, it's we're going to run the ball. L look at John Runyon right there, by the way. So if you, I, don't, I don't think a lot of, I told you guys, but I have John Runyon playing left tackle for me. Because now, as of right now, there's only one person on my team that's not eagle, and it's Kyle Pitts. I got rid of Bowers. And the reason why is because, man, I can't lie to you. Bowers' route running was just... Hey, just look at look at the lead blocks. You see, you see, you double team the end, you ID the edge guy, you set up the see a lot of people that they want to run the ball, but they don't want to set up the adjustments to run the ball. You gotta do the whole shebang, man. So you see, that's why that just sweep ran so flawlessly right there. But uh, he's coming out of empty, pisses his pants. You gotta come out empty with that three four look, man. Come on, man. That, that's just that, that that's suicide. You can't do that. So he threw a pick, pissed his pants, Carmichael picks it off. Uh I don't remember what I was just talking about, but I was just talking about something, but um what was i talking about 
I don't remember. I don't remember. We're cruising on offense. I know a lot of you guys also don't like Darren McFadden. No, I okay, I think I, I said something about I put John Runyon in the left tackle. I have John Runyon playing left tackle. Now. They, yeah, the only person I have that's not an eagle is I have Kyle Pitts playing tight end two for me right now. Um, look at this guy right here, the Jordan Ray. Mm, come on now, you, you know me. I love my corner routes. I've been doing this for years, and I'm going to keep doing it. But, uh, yeah, I do. I'm going to get Dalton Schultz because I know he gets all cams. I'm going to get him to replace Kyle Pitts. And I know some of you guys are like, oh, all these guys. Look at Brian Burns. Look at Brian Burns getting up in there. I know all these guys with all the team cams a lot of you guys don't like because it's like it's not even real theme teams anymore. Look, man, it's just a game. And you see how, okay, look at, look at this right here. You see how my D line is completely messed up right now. Like Javon Curse in the box right now. This is not something I mean to do. This is a complete accident. Sometimes I'm I'm going through my adjustments really fast. I'm, I'm just trying to get through everything. And what happens is it I don't even know how that happens. But when it happens, it's usually not a good thing because now my pass rush is gonna be nowhere near good. And anytime you see that accidentally happen, just know it's not gonna be good for my defense. And I'm not calling time out, I'm not doing none of that. We're just gonna have to thug it out. So that's never a good thing when that happens. But uh, let me know how you guys like this. It's 3-4 under. That's the defense I'm running. 3-4 under. Uh, I'm in the Ravens playbook. I usually come out of my car for quarters, and I make a lot of different adjustments. And like I said, the base 5-D, all 5-D linemen you see, I'm never dropping them in coverage. Those guys are going to the quarterback. I, I'm a very, very blitz-heavy guy. That's how I play. I like to make the quarterback feel uncomfortable, and I like to make a lot of different adjustments behind it. And right here, right now, Christian McCaffrey's killing Kevin Byard. So what I'm doing is I'm manning Kevin Byard up on Christian McCaffrey. I'm shading to the outside, and he's getting cooked every time, even with universal coverage. He is just straight up getting cooked. And the DRC is getting cooked by Vernon Davis. I have I have DRC manned up on Vernon Davis. I'm shading to the outside, and they're just getting cooked. So I'm just like, and this is a routine adjustment I'm doing. I'm, doing, I'm just like, all right. I don't know why these guys are getting cooked right now. Like, once again, boom, Kevin Byard's getting killed. So eventually, what I started to do, I was like, yo. I'm just not going to let this happen. So I just started dropping guys in zero-yard curl flats. KB dropped him in zero-yard curl flat. You're going to see a couple times DRC. I'm dropping him in the zero-yard curl flat. TJ Havers, man, he be, he, he's, a, he's a hitter. And you just got to get adjusted because I'm not I'm not, not going to blitz. I'm going to blitz. We're just going to make some wild adjustments behind it, and we just got to make a good user play. Like That's just how it is, man. Like I play very aggressive. Look at that. Javon Curtis getting to the quarterback. I, and I, I really like the 3-4 defense so much because it's just cool. You know, we got all the D linemen. And we're just beating the shit out the quarterback. Like, we're just hitting it, man. I, I just love it right there. Ooh, we seen this story, man. Third and inches. You know, last time TJ stopped it down here, I don't know. I'm, I'm assuming he, Buddy's got to get in because it's, you know, it's 14 to 0. And, you know, look, look at this. Oh, this is, ah. Oh, that's, that's good coverage by T. Now, TJ Edwards doesn't have very good man, but right there, I came out with an all out blitz, shade underneath man. And TJ was really in good position, man, but it's a really good throw by the quarterback. And, you know what I mean? Yeah, you can't be mad at it. The guy doesn't got any KOs, you know what I mean? So I get smacked right there. And pay attention to this game, this gameplay right here with this with this Gastito's guy I'm playing. My right tackle, which is the uh the, the free agent guy, whatever his name, he gets all team cams. He gets absolutely mauled the entire game by I I wanna say that's uh that's Carl he's going against, I think. I could be wrong, but I think it's Carl absolutely mauls him the whole game and right there i really got hold so i'm trying to hit the underneath underneath the mcfadden a little rat catch catching the stride they don't really give me a good animation so now i'm stuck on the fourth and five that i really don't want to be in and i remember this i thought I, I it's not the best it's a it's a lazy route combo it's a real lazy pass it's just i threw that and you're going to see it a couple times and i think in this gameplay and this whole gameplay you guys are going to watch is like it's some lazy route combos it's a lazy effort it, it's I'm more of a defensive guy. That's just who I am. I'm a defensive player, man. And that's one thing I can always rely on is my defense. I, I make some crazy adjustments. I, I send pressure, and I get myself the ball back. That like literally could see briefly. I'm flashing. Look at that. That I mean that's a wild adjustment right there. I just got to get on that a little bit, you know, quicker. But this is kind of how I play now. Offensively, you know, when I'm like dialed in, I'm not being lazy with my route combos. You know, it, it's gonna get crazy. But I would say in both these games you're gonna watch, I would say it's a it's a little bit of a lazy effort on offense. I definitely didn't, you know, go down or like I'm dialed in. Like defense, I'm always gonna be dialed. Like look at these crazy adjustments. I got the, I mean like, let's just run it back. I mean like this is so wild, man. Like just look look what I do here on this on this left side of the field. So we got him dropping in the zero yard curl flag to take away Vernon Davis in the flat route because for some reason having him manned up shade the outside just wasn't working. We got KB with the universal cover manned up on number 11. 
I got Cameron Curl manned up on the running back. He he's going to get some. We're going to hit him. You know what I mean? We got the deep out zone. I mean, this is just you know what I mean. I'm a lot more of a defensive minded guy than I am offense. Sure, there. Oh, we get look. And Bo Jackson. You know what I mean? He's not good with pressure in his face. We get a little bit of pressure on him. Come on, now you already know what's happening. He's he's going under pressure unless you got fearless on him. I'll never forget to look at it. Brian Burris smacks the shit about this one guy, man. Um, he was like, yeah, it's not the guy stack if it don't got fearless. He was funny. He's a cool guy. And right here, this this is a risky defense. We give up a tad right here, but look, man, I love her die right there. I had ten yard hurt curls, like ten yard flats. We're playing the sticks. And, you know, he he do a good dot right there, man. I can't even really be mad at it, but you know, what I mean, I deliver by that defense. So right here, Kyle Pitts is open. He's open there on the streak. We got smacked. You know, offensive line sucks. You know, we can really, you know, too much we could do about it. And I'm like, all right, I'm going right back to him. We really, and we really have him. He's got a step, but you know what I mean? I, I don't know what happened. And Randall Cunningham kind of underthrew it, but, you know, pay attention to that because I think at some point in this game, I am going to hit that pass. So definitely pay attention to that. But start the second half, I do get the ball. I was up 14 to 0. Now it's tied 14 to 14. This is typically how my games go. I jump back to a lead. I blow the lead. Then it's a hell game in the fourth quarter, and I end up winning. That's usually how it is. And right there, he did a good job with his user taking away the RPO. I wanted to throw it. I end up getting, you know, it says sack. It's really a, my Cunningham's kind of a runner there, though. But it goes in as a sack. Uh, third and eight. And honestly, like I said, I, I have a feeling here we're probably going to see another lazy route combo. Even that one right there, I'm not even really the uh, biggest fan of. Uh, excuse me, excuse me, but fourth and three. Oh, I think you know. I think I think I might bomb this Kyle Pitts right here. This is I'm like you know what? Let me just bring it out right here. Boom! Randall Cunningham going deep. They kill a Kyle Kyle Pitts. You know it's weird, man. I don't know what it is about me, but when it gets to fourth down, I'm like I don't care where the yardage is. I always want to go for the end zone. It's such a weird thing with me. Like you can like even look at some other gameplays. When it gets to fourth down, I'm looking for the end zone. It's such a weird thing. But right here, woo! Big play slay bails me out. It's crazy that deep out zone is lighting up right there. And some of you guys, man, you guys are like, oh, Darius Slay doesn't really play that good. This, that, this, that. I don't know what you guys are doing, but Slay plays great for me. But if you peep right there, this guy just burnt the second half timeout. And who I can't believe he gets that ball out. Brian Burns smacked the shit out of him. I, he burns the second. And he does it again. Like, he just... You know, the second half timeouts are supposed to be like the Holy Grail. Like, you got to like, whoa, hold on. You don't, you know, you, you got to save those. And this guy was just like, hey, man, I don't care about any of that. But you see Kevin Byer getting cooked again, manned up, shade to the outside. I don't know what it was. I, I, these are routine adjustments I do. And he's just, he's just getting cooked. You know what I mean? So that's why I had to start dropping guys in curl flats. And then that's why I had to kind of sit in the middle right there. And boom, it don't matter. Javon. Somebody keep track. How many? Because this game right here, the next game we, we hit, we beat the quarter. We always beat the quarterback. That's what we do. But this game, we really beat this guy up. Like, I know Bo Jackson has some bruises going into the locker room. Mm -mm, look at that lurk right there with TJ Edwards. I was kind of, I've been baiting it the whole game. I just, because I got to. I got to act like I'm running out to the corner right, and I got to, boom, hurry up, sprint back, and come back for the angle rides. It's all about Bay and then, you know, messing with the guy. Because in his head, you got to think, he is getting hit every single play. He's barely getting this ball out when he does get it out. The he, the time in his head is going off so fast. That's why he's throwing that pick, because he's just panicking. He's like, yo, I got to get the ball out. So, now, right here, I actually like this route combo I put together. I really like this, but look at 71. Getting absolutely destroyed, man. I mean, I actually like that route combo. That's a really good route combo there. Um, I have a feeling like, look, this is a lazy right now. now. Now, this I don't like. This is a lazy route combo. I can already see it. It's just two streaks on the left. You got the flat underneath. Yeah, I don't even like this. I don't like this one. This is a lazy route combo because this guy's really been giving me my check downs the whole game. And then I just throw a stupid pass, lazy route combo. What even is that, man? You know, just, I just hate, I hate looking bad. This is why I don't like talking over the game. Because I look back on it, I'm just like, what are we doing? He's coming down the bunch. We're going to smack him. Boom, Brian Burns, go get him. Been destroying him all game. Really, the main guys getting to him this game. Brian Burns and Javon Curse, the two edge guys. Really, I'm surprised we haven't talked about Bryce Huff. I got Bryce Huff playing right next to Brian Burns there on the right side. As, oof, Bo Jackson down under pressure. And honestly, even if he completes it, it's probably going to be complete because, uh, DRC, I do have a uh, mid zone on him, and that 
100% would have broke it up. And I got deep in on him. So it doesn't matter what the depth would have been at. If he would have hit him, he would have broken it up. So And his X, his X Factor is kind of clickbait because it looks like it might be like a universal or some type of KO. I think it's it's just basically like a another version of pick artist. I don't. I took the one step ahead off, and the reason why I know because I, I made my safety up a lot. So you're thinking, here we go again. Look at this. I'm I, I got Javon Curse playing in the middle. You know this is gonna be a disaster. And look at that. It is. We have a goddamn touchdown now. To be fair, he he should have threw this route way earlier. He the only he took so long because you know my my shit was all messed up. But that he misses the extra point. It's you know kind of it bites him in the ass at the end. But uh, it was a good route. He brought out the U route, surprised me with it because I made up the safety. So that spot of the field is really wide the hell open. Uh, but you know, it doesn't help that he had because honestly, if we had our defense normally set up, he might have he might have not have thrown it because he took he took way too long to throw that thing. So, uh, but it was a good it was, it was a good dive by him. You got to give it to him, but he, he smoked the extra point. So he kind of ruined the moment. But look at look at Darren McFadden, man. I'm trying to put his game on ice. You know me. I'm a runner. I want to run this ball as much as we can. Put this game away. Please, McFadden. I'm out here throwing the most craziest route combos. And, and you know what's funny? This game, and I think the next game, too, McFadden, like, really didn't do too much the first three quarters. But once that fourth quarter hit, man, he went downhill, and he, he was running hard. And you see right now, like, this drive is really all McFadden. A lot of you guys don't like him, man, but I like the card. I know I didn't. And, I mean, he, he has fumbled for me a little bit, man, but I don't know. I could put up with right there. That's not McFadden. That's just me trying to make a heroic play. Now we got a third and 12. Once again, what is his route? I don't never, I never put both of those tight ends on the double cross like that. Like, this is just weird. Like, I know I was a little drunk. I'm a little drunk right now, but I know I was a little, you know, a little drunk, but there's no reason I should do these route combos. Like, this, what is this route cop? I've never ran this in my life. Like, I'm just putting random shit on the field, bro. I can't even lie to you. Now, honestly, though, crazy part is, that's not, I don't even hate that pass to be there to Kyle Pitts. Once again, Cunningham just kind of underthrows it, and I know I'm free-forming it. I've been playing Superstar Showdown, the 3v3 mode a little bit. Maybe that's been messing with me with a little bit because I'm not going to lie. I mean, Pitts has, look at that. Brian Burns getting up in there. Three and a half sacks, really four sacks. You might as well count it. Uh, I think Showdown might have messed me up a little bit on some of those deep balls because I don't know. I mean, he, Pitts really has a step on him. Maybe I'm, you know, Showdown messed me up a little bit. Maybe I need to stop. Who hits him again? Brian Burns. What else is new? But uh i'm actually not too mad at that pass out there once i don't like that route i mean it was a terrible route combo like you know what i mean so it is what it is it's a one-point game the defense has got to do what the defense does we got the guy in the third and 20 he's out and empty last time he was an empty he threw a pick he that was a pretty bad pass right there i don't even he's still in the empty i don't know like when you're going against three four i guess you want to try to spread it out but he was doing most of his damage in bunch even though it was you know we still handling that but fourth and 20 he gets absolutely screamed at he has to get the ball out camera curl that's easy pick camera curls play for the uh for anyone that's wondering camera curl has played pretty solid for me at corner he's had he's had some weird hiccups sometimes like a little little, 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 little bit of weird moments but for the most part, he's been, I've, I've liked the way he's played. He's, I remember he had this one really good play for me in the end zone. And he also brings a little bit of that tackle value, too, at corner, which is, I mean, that's always really good. And let me look, look at McFadden. Put, putting this game on ice right now. Shout out to McFadden. You know what I mean? Look at this one-yard line. He gets stuffed. Come on, McFadden. What the hell, man? I actually take a knee right here. I took a knee because I'm just like, yeah, I want to play safe right here. So right here, what I do is you're like, why am I passing it? My goal was just to block this DN, roll out. If I don't have it, I'm going to slide and go down. And he actually he sent the whole goddamn team, so I just threw it to McFadden. But, you know, if I didn't have anything, I was going to slide, go down, and, you know I mean, run some more clock. But he gave me the tud. And so that means the defense has got to go back out there. He's back in the empty where he's had absolutely no success. I'm pretty much giving him the flats. He's got no timeouts, like 40 seconds play cool the pressure gonna get there let me just see if i can make a user play that's just kind of where i'm at right here mm, he gets smacked there by harold Carr, Michael. look man when, 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 I, if you come down empty man there's no way i'm gonna let you sit back and drop i'm not even gonna let him sit back and drop back in this bunch i don't care what you what you coming out and i'm not i'm never my goal is to never let you i'm never gonna send for you the my, my coverage defense is a five-man rush and i guarantee you that it's gonna scream I'm sorry. It's the truth. This 3-4 is no joke, man. This is this defense is legit. This is I've been running for like two months now, and I love it. I can't lie to you. And it's, it's gonna it's gonna suck to start man 25 because like 
I'm not going to be able to run this because it, it's only good with the lurk bars. Unless I put safeties in the box. Now, you can actually put safeties in the box in this. Look at that. Brian Burris gets to him again. Uh, you can put safeties in this box, but you have to do really weird stuff with the lineup. And I don't know if I'd be able to have 50 out of 50 Eagles doing it. So, it, it, it's, a little, it's some dumb stuff you have to have. But, you know what I mean? Look at that. Brian Burns hits him again. And, and the thing with this guy is, is like... He's putting his running back out every play. So, you know, he's he's not helping himself at all. And you see that right here, this little bit. This is my cover defense. I call it. I rush five. Boom. Under pressure. Bo Jackson. I'm telling you, man. I don't know. I don't know. That Bo Jackson card, I, I personally don't think he's it, man. The quarterback, to be particular. Fourth and ten. Who calls game? Brian Burns. The guy can't throw under pressure, man. Uh, he, he, he threw for like 320 on us. But at the end of the day... The defense, we got our cube. We, we beat the quarterback up. We got our turnovers, and we do what we had to do, man. So that was an ugly brand of football we played on offense, though. I cannot lie to you. Now, this game is going to be kind of the same thing you just watched. It's going to be an ugly brand of football on offense, but the defense is going to rescue uh, the offenses. The Jalen Carter there. There we go. A little, little bit of a Jalen Carter sighting there. So I actually on the D-line. Uh, I have inside stuff on Carter and Reggie White. But I'm not gonna lie, it that up. Look at that. That's Bryce Huff. Uh oh, Bryce Huff. And then Javon scoops it up with one hand and that's six. That's three. That's how you open up a game with the defense. Just beat the quarterback up and take the ball from him, man. I'm, I'm trying to tell y'all, man, but that was Bryce Huff that uh caused that shot, y'all. I forgot what I said. Yeah, so I got I got inside stuff on Jalen Carter and Reggie White. I got Jalen Carter playing right over top to center, and then Reggie White is playing right over top to left guard. I really want to honestly have the other inside stuff where Bryce Huff is at, but the problem is he doesn't get it. And I don't want to put Reggie White right there because, like, I want that guy to be a little bit faster on that right side playing right next to Burns. So, I don't know. I'm trying to figure that out right now. Even, oh, look at that. Big play. Big play. Slay's been making plays all game plays so far, man. I'm, not, I'm, just, I'm not saying that because some of you guys have called out Slay and said, you know, his car doesn't play that good. I don't think, you know, I didn't even, you know, you guys are trying to play man with a man coverage sucks. Uh, right here, he's in some bunch tight end. We ain't seen no bunch tight end so far. A lot of bunch, though. Bunch, bunch, bunch. You know guys are always going to run a bunch. He goes over the middle of McCaffrey. He really should score. Uh, there's no reason the man doesn't score right there. I mean, that, I think you're going to see him a couple times in this gameplay. This guy has no stick. Now he comes down to I form. Uh, this thing gets absolutely blown up. Come on, man. This is why we're in the 3 4. Uh, and you, a lot of times you see, you're seeing me bring that safety down. The reason why I'm bringing that safety down is because when I when I do that, look at this this alert. Oh, that's alert! Come on, man. You look, man. You gonna come out in bunch, man? You better come out that bitch like Henry or Draney. That's all I gotta say because a lot of this shit's getting lurked. But what was I saying again? Uh, I always kind of lose train of thought. But uh, let, let's see, let's see how bad our offense is this game. I'm sure it's gonna be just as bad as last game. Lazy route combos and just being terrible. But uh. Yeah, I don't, I don't remember what I was saying, but, uh, uh, no, I actually don't. No, I'm gonna take a shot real quick, but I honestly do not remember what I was saying. Uh, let's just see, let's see, let's see some, I think, honestly, my first drive is usually my best drive, because I always come out, you know, like, you know what I mean? Like, mmm, look at that's a tight, hey, I, watch out for Fred Ward on this game play. 5-4 in the middle. He was going crazy with that mid zone, man. He was breaking up hella pass out. That was a, that was a close start right there. He could have had a chance to lurk it, but. Kyle Pitts made a play. Look at McFadden running hard. I'm not going to lie. After that run, I don't think McFadden prize. And in this game, I don't want to spoil, but in the fourth quarter, I just want to say McFadden goes bonkers. And shout out to him for that, because without him, I don't know if we would have won this game. But we got another third and four. I'm a pretty comfortable guy on third down. It's like I run the ball a lot. I know we're going to see third downs. It's not a big deal, but look who it is. Fred Warner, man. This guy is just a – he was going crazy with that mid zone. I don't know if it's got a Niners theme team. I, I don't, I'm not really too sure, but uh, lazy route combo. I just, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a lazy route combo. We're going to run it back. I mean, it's just, it's flat out lazy, man. Look at this. I mean, we got, so we got, we got uh, AJ on a clear out streak. You got uh, McFadden underneath on the flat route. And then you got uh, Jordan Real on the corner route. That's all fine. What are we doing on the backside? We got a, uh, a drag on Kyle Pitts. And then it's just, I mean, you know what? Let me stop. It's not that lazy, honestly. I'm kind of just boosting it right now because I there's because I, I do feel like last. You know, it's funny. I'm, I'm 15 to two. I don't even know how I'm 15 to two in champs. I, I honestly I play so lazy out through the whole thing, except for when I get on defense. Defense is when I do take it serious, but offensively, I don't know. I just I, 
Sometimes I just play so lazy on offense. But when I'm dialed in and I'm actually like taking it serious, oh my god, I'm just I'm a hard motherfucker to stop, bro. But I know sometimes I just can't do it. But trying to get McFan down here in the red zone because we do not want to pass the ball down here. Oh, we're setting up the jet sweep. Got to see. You remember last time we ran that jet sweep? We went for six. Got Pittman here on it. Going to cut it back to the inside. Tough run. This Pitt, Pittman card has been pretty. He's been not bad. I'm not gonna lie. It's been a pretty underrated card. Um, at the time I'm recording this, it looks like a Smitty might be coming out for Wild Card Wednesday. At the time it's being recorded, as you're watching this, I mean, he might already be on my team. I might already have a video. I don't know, but Pittman might not even be on my team anymore. Uh, so that might be a real thing. And I love Devontae. Devontae Smith is probably me. He's my favorite player in the Eagles right now. And he's probably, probably probably my second favorite player in the league. I know Lamar Jackson is probably my favorite player. Everyone's like, you're an Eagles fan. You got to have an Eagles player. Well, Lamar Jackson is generational talent, man. Third and goal. Uh, this actually isn't a bad route, come, to be honest with you. I kind of panicked. Get out, I bailed out of the pocket there early. Once again, I think that has a little something to do with the Superstar Showdown. I actually just run the clock all the way down and just take a delay game to milk the clock. And I, I know what happens here. I missed the extra point. And you're probably also wondering, wait a minute, why doesn't your Jake Elliott have abilities? So that's not the real Jake Elliott. And you're probably now wondering what happened to your Jake Elliott. Well, it's a long story that we're not going to get into. And you know what? And if you want if you want to miss out on some of the lore and some of these weird things that happen, you know what? Oof, you almost threw a pick right there. Uh, tap it with the Twitch. The link to that is down in the description. Go ahead, drop a follow, and you can miss on some of the lore. I'm not even, We're not even going to talk about this. I'm going to take a shot. This is not water in this water bottle. It is that wild. Ooh. All right, back to the game. Back to the game. Uh, what do we got here? Looks like he's in. Looks like he's in bunch. He motioned the uh, running back out to the wide there to the left. Uh, he gets absolutely screamed at. I love this 3-4 defense, man. I'll tell you what. I, I just I just love being quarterback sub. Because even because you, I, I used to run nickel normal, right? And you got that. Okay, so he comes out of trips tight end. I think right there, I just kind of, I kind of left that open right there. Nice and eye form. Uh, it's not going to work. This is bad. That's a bad stick there. I'm not sure why he, if he would have just kind of hit that hole to the right, he might have would have had some, but for some reason he cut that. But like I said, this guy did not ever get a stick, but right there, I tried to main up Slay on uh, Pitts. That didn't work out. And I'm not like you guys are going to be like, oh, wow, Slay just sucks, man. No, man, that's just, that's not going to work, bro. It's a man beater. We can't be doing stuff like that, so. Uh, we got a second to go, though. We got to get this. What's he in right now? He's in the tight. Oh, I think he throws some wild shit right here. Yeah. He throws a zig route right at a universal coverage. Kevin Byard doesn't break it up. Ends up getting a touchdown from him. Hey, man. You know what I mean? So I guess big time players got to make big time plays like that. Uh, it worked out pretty good for him right here. I roll out, try to make some shake. I just called Stocks East Spot. And who else is it? Fred fucking Warner, man. I don't know. I guess Fred Warner's the best ever. I mean, he's the greatest, right? You know what I mean? So really, all he was doing was he was like sending the uh, the the slot corner out of the uh, the dialer from the left. It really wasn't screaming like that to be honest. That's why I didn't really like block the running back too much. Really, what was happening was like fucking Warren Sapp. You see right there, Warren Sapp was killing me. And I know I had some time to throw right here. Fourth and seventeen. We're getting the we're getting a lazy route combo. I mean, this is absolutely garbage route combo. Uh, wh what even is that, man? I've never even put that out there before, man. We're just Warren Sapp kills me again, but the lazy route combo, regardless. Like, I don't know why I was playing so lazy on offense. I mean, I know why. Usually, when I play lazy on offense, it's because two things: either I'm just I'm either angry, I'm either just not feeling mad, and or I don't I don't know, like. It's, it was probably something. I don't know what it was. Usually, even when I'm drunk, I'll put some good route combos out there. I can't lie to you. It's right there. Oh, look at that. Good coverage by Slay right there. Uh, but when I'm on defense, though, I'm always locked in on defense. I don't know. I enjoy playing defense. Remember last time we did this? The two hook curls and the cloud flats. We gave up a touchdown last game. Third and ten. Let's see what happens this time. Brian Burns with the pressure. Slay with the pick. Shout out to Brian Burns putting that pressure on you. See, come on. Big play Slay, baby. But. I don't know. I, I actually enjoy playing defense more than I enjoy playing offense. Maybe it's, maybe I'm weird. Um, I don't know. That's it. Even like when we played a little three v three showdown mode, superstar showdown, which is very pretty pretty fun mode. I wish they would update it more. Uh, I enjoy actually playing the defense more. I don't know. Maybe it's because when I played football, I was uh, um, I played defense. So maybe I just I don't know. I just enjoy. I like I like I like hitting people. 
I like just, I don't know. I like defense, bro. I don't know. I just like, I mean, off, the offense is obviously cool too. Don't get me wrong, but I'm a defensive guy. I'm a defensive guy, man. But I trade before the end of the half. I just throw this thing up to Kyle Pitts. I mean, there's really not a whole lot you can kind of do here. You know what I mean? And look at this right here. So he goes out three man deep, right? I run. So I run buck sweep to get the lead blockers. Pitch it back to Cunningham. And look, look at all the space on the left side of the field. Oh, my God. We could have sixed it, man. I just got that. That was six right there, man. Oh, that's tough. I always do that if they come at three man deep because buck sweep, you get like the lead blockers. And I just pitch it right back to Cunningham. It, it's great. I haven't scored on it yet, but so many times I've came so close, like just like that one right there, man. It's just the opportunities there. The execution just has to be there. But so the whole first half, right, we were like bullshitting bad route combos. The guy's giving me my check downs right there. I finally take the check down. And then I'm like, okay, you know what? Let me just let me just take my check down. Typically, I usually just always hit the guy that's open, but sometimes I just kind of get in that mindset when I know someone's trying to heat me up. I'm like, let me air it out on him. And right there, I'm barely get the ball out chase young got me bad pocket presence well, actually i don't know i think i got scream i don't think I, I i think i got forced out the pocket but four than three just take the check down hit the man mcfadden which i got wrecking ball x factor on him which i don't know why though today but he was like i thought i had angry runs out there because he was just starting so at one point he was breaking so many tackles but the rpo game was not on this game he he whoever 31 was i'm not sure who that was i think it might have been simmons or something but he was coming downhill, blowing that thing up every time. He was dropping him in a curl flag. And right, right here as I roll out, if you look at that far enough of the field, Jordan Reed was wide open. I actually realized it, and I try to hit it, I think, like the next two plays. The problem is I just get absolutely screamed at by who else? Warren Sapp is just absolutely mauling Jason Kelsey. Every play, it's not his blitz. His blitz is doing nothing. It's the goddamn prelit X Factor, Warren Sapp. He's just killing me every play. Right here, 4th and 11, we got to have it. Right here, all I got to say is shout out to Superstar Showdown. That I was able to click on and get in front of that ball. Playing a lot of Superstar Showdown at 3v3, it'll get your user skills right, man. That's all user right there. Just get in front of him and make it a play. Sometimes, sometimes it's gotta, it's, it doesn't got to be pretty, man. You just got to go out there and make a play. Now, this is a cool route combo right here. You know what I mean? I know where I'm trying to attack the defense, which is weird right there because every play he was dropping Justin Simmons in that curl flat. That's why I want him to kind of go to the flat, and I would read it from there uh, like a quicker to read, but, you know, he left the flat open right there, so... I'm not really too sure what happened right there, but you see McFadden's got eight carries for 20 yards. Remember that, because when we get in this fourth quarter, that number is going to dramatically change. Right here, look at that. Act like I'm going to the right. Hmm. Remember, I told you, he was giving me that the whole time. I just needed some time, man. I just needed Jason Kelsey to give me some time in that pocket to hit that. He finally gave me some time. Now, it's up to the defense to keep doing what they're doing. Keep playing defense. We held this man at seven points for almost four quarters, man. Let's keep doing what we're doing. He comes, comes out in a tight right here. Come on, Darius Slate has some ball now. This entire gameplay, man. Put some respect on his name. He made it came out a while ago, but the guy can play. Ooh, right there. That could have, TJ Edwards could have put the icing on the cake. If that's Harold Carmichael, that is a pick. Sadly, though, that was not Harold Carmichael. He does the quick little angle around. TJ Edwards is a tackler, man. You, can, you can't take that away from him. That boy can tackle. But fourth and two. It's hard to get off the field. He's going to snap right before the third. What happens here, actually? Oh, this is, yeah. That's just a tough catch by Jerry Rice, man. I don't I don't even know what else to tell you, man. That is just a guy trying to make a play for the football team. So, I can't even be mad at it. But look, look at these adjustments on the field, man. Just just, just look at these play arts. It's, it's adjustments you got to make. Because I'm blitzing every place. So, right? Oh, yeah. He goes out of the trips tight end. Audible to the bunch tight end. I honestly don't even PB's in it. I'm just like, all right, whatever. The boys just scream at him. Brian Burns, Javon Curse, meet right at him. They have a little meeting greet. I, I didn't even realize he kind of audible to it. I was just like, all right, whatever. Now he's in some. He's in like some doubles close. And I'm being completely honest with you, man. If you ever play against me, a couple things to never come out in. Don't you ever come out in doubles, and God forbid, don't you ever come out and spread. If you come out in those two things. I, I pray for you, man. But right here, he hits me with the backside post. And if you peep a couple times throughout this whole game right here, he kind of had it. He just didn't have the time to get it because I didn't have. What I do after this is I do end up putting uh, my right side safety DRC. I start putting him on the inside third to pretty much eliminate that. Because uh, if you notice the one playing doubles, he actually had it. I didn't. Yeah, um, but 
See, that that's not gonna happen again. I make sure I make sure that look at McFadden. You gotta get you a running back that can just put the game on ice, man. That's a grown man run. I'm gonna tell you right now, McFadden takes over this whole drive right here. Spoiler alert, man. He's gonna take over and thank God that he did because we needed someone to do something. Look at this. Just take over the game, man. Darren McFadden. Might have questionable hands, you know, holding on to the ball, but the guy can go. Look at this. Boom. The guy's falling on the ground. He doesn't want to tackle him. Now, granted, he probably wants me to score, but I'm like, that's fine. I believe in my defense. We're going to walk you right down field with number 20. Look at that. Lower the shoulder. Go get the first. He had eight carries for 20. Now he's got 13 for 91. Come on. Put some respect on McFadden's name. RPO, AJ Brown, walk in. Go get in there, man. It's up to the defense to go win us this football game now, man. You Brian Burns has been smacking the quarterback all game. Keep getting to him. Javon Curse, too. Uh, not, not really too much Reggie White this game. Not really too well. Jalen Carter doesn't really get there that much anyway. Usually, my 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 guys, it's it's, it's Brian Burns, Javon Curse. I'd probably it's between Bryce Huff and Reggie. I don't know. Yeah, I might go Bryce Huff, and then Reggie, and then Jalen Carter is probably my last. Jalen Carter is more my run stopper guy, but when he has his games, it's 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 a great thing. So, right there, look who it is, Reggie White. Boom, the minister. So they're gonna get you, man. You, you better get that ball out. He's in this doubles right now. What did I see? See, see, I moved DRC just a tad bit to that middle of the field because he's getting put on that inside third. Who gets him? Boom, Brian Burns. Come on, man. We're going to beat the quarterback up, man. Third and 24. He's in, uh, looks like he's in trips tight end right now. Uh, uh, playing it pretty simple here. I actually bumped Ayuk there. I was trying to get as much P as I can. It's like, this is what we do, bro. We we move the quarterback back, back, back. Then he gets it all back. Now we got a fourth and it. We're getting a fourth and in inches, man. This is, it's going to be hard to get a stop right here. But, uh, spoiler alert, man. We might be getting a stop right here. I just want to, you know what I mean? He's in the trips tight end. He's in there. He's got to make. He's got to. Mm, Brian Burns forces him to throw way earlier than he wants to. TJ Edwards. He says the game. That'll pretty much do it. That'll pack him up. Brian Burns, man. Are you not sold? I mean, did you not see all the plays he made? If you're not, look, man. Right here. This is the guy right here. If you're not sold on Mr. Brian Burns, man, I don't know what to tell you. The guy can play ball. Um, he's fat. You can see he's fast. You know, not nah, granted. A lot of times he's coming in free. You know what I mean? Well, maybe maybe you need to run you a defense where he can come in free. You know what I mean? But uh, let me know what you guys think about Brian Burns. You have him. If you got any questions about him, let me know down in the comments. Uh, let me know if you like these style of gameplays better. While I talk over these, uh, and drop a like if you did enjoy it. Uh, until the next time, man. I'll see y'all boys in the next one.